Hello, I wanna welcome you back. This is attorney Alan Edmonds, and we are discussing important issues that you have brought to my attention. Uh, my telephone number is 800-481-2526. As many of you know, I practice national security clearance law and military law. And particularly, I do a number of uh, discharge upgrade requests for veterans that have been discharged, and uh, it's been years ago, and the discharge may have been based on some very insignificant or minor offenses. However, the command at the time separated you and gave you an OTH other than honorable or a BCD or a general under honorable. And uh, what we do at the Edmonds Law Firm, and we have offices across the United States, as I said, you can reach us at 800-481-2526, is we filed a petition with the Discharge Review Board, and then we go on to a hearing. And one of the reasons I'm doing this case right now with you today is about what happened on April 25th, 2023, in front of the Discharge Review Board. It was one of the uh, most interesting cases I've had in a long time. I've been doing this for 45 years. Uh, ironically, I have more experience and uh, time in military law than any of the members of the board. Uh, but we had a senior member that was very hostile, very demeaning and very insulting uh, to my client. My client had a single uh, drug incident while in the Marine Corps. Uh, he was a football star in high school, went into the Marine Corps at age 19, and in his first year ran into senior enlisted people that invited him into a barracks where they had LSD. He used LSD on one occasion, admitted it, and uh, got separated with an OTH. So I brought the case before the Discharge Review Board. There was a lot of merit, a lot of mitigation for an upgrade. But the board was in a very, very, uh, what I consider to be insulting and disrespectful mood. And um, the questions went on for 20 to 25 minutes of this young 24 year old uh, ex-Marine. Uh, the fact that he had been offered uh, drugs by a, a senior enlisted made no uh, import, importance to the Discharge Review Board. And they felt that the discharge, according to their comments, was warranted. I, of course, uh, take issue with that. But what I'm speaking to you about is don't go before this board unrepresented. I hope that you'll call the Edmonds Law Firm, but if not, take a, an attorney in because there are post-hearing things that I'm gonna do and that your attorney can do to correct mistreatment by the board during these hearings. These hearings are not supposed to be a relitigation of events that happened years ago. Rather, you're petitioning the board based on fairness and equity and things that you've done with your life post-separation. That was all lost on this board. And we've seen that in the UCMJ, it seems like officers get leniency and enlisted people get the hammer. And that's uh, a huge part of why the military today cannot recruit and retain members. But that's for another day. What I wanna do is warn you about a hostile board. It doesn't often happen, but it did recently and I want you to know. And if that's happened to you, I hope you'll call me at 800-481-2526 or retain us to take you into that board hearing and prepare you for it. My name's Alan Edmonds. Thank you for listening.